much too complex. Too complex. Hi guys, welcome back to my show Mixed Feelings, the number one show on YouTube for biracial women. Made that up but it should be true. So in this episode, I'm going to talk to you about how to wear your hair under wigs. I know what you're thinking. Of course, you just put your hair in cornrows under wigs, but what if you are just a person that doesn't know how to do cornrows? I personally have ne was never taught how to do that, um, and I think a lot of biracial women, probably if you ended up with a white mom, you didn't learn how to do it either. And also, don't feel weird about wearing a wig if you look white, because I think that people feel like you can only wear wigs. Unless it's like a Halloween situation, like you can only wear wigs if you're black. I don't know if that's just me thinking that, but I feel like that's kind of an insecurity. Like people will think I have this issue if I'm wearing a wig. <laughs> For this look, I'm starting with pretty stretched, disgusting day 15 hair. See? You don't want to wear it out like this, which is probably why you're wanting to wear a wig. So the first thing that we do is we put our hair in a tight, low ponytail, like so, like this. And obviously you can't put a wig over this because this is so bulky down here, so what do we do with that? I will show you. So for me, I use about eight bobby pins, and you're going to take small chunks I do about this size, about this size or smaller, and you're going to twist it. And pin it, right? And what we're gonna do is, we're gonna do this all the way around the head, it kind of like a fan around the head. And the point of this is to spread out our hair so that it's as flat against our head as possible. Too complex, too complex, too complex, too complex, too complex. Too, too, too complex. All right, let me show you the back. And there it is. What I just did there took me less than 60 seconds. It's really flat against my head. And so now we're going to go to the next step. I don't know what this is called, but it's, I think it's called a wig grip. I got it off of Amazon. I'll put a link to the app, which one it actually is because I can't remember right now. But what it does is it's kind of like a satin material and it grips your wig and it also protects your baby hairs. I would definitely recommend one of these. It's amazing. And then the stocking cap. You want it showing in the front because this is the material that will grip your wig. All right, and that's that part. Let me show you the back. So I just watched part of the footage that I just filmed and I noticed there's just this huge hole, but it works even though there's a huge hole in it. I just wanted to come back and say, I know that there's a hole in it. And there's also like a weird piece of hair here. Just know it works. You don't need a new one. You just need one. Okay, and now I'm going to put my wig on over this and I'll show you the final, final look. All right, guys, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to comment below. Let me know if you want to see anything else. And also, don't forget to like and subscribe to Hissy Fit. Have a good day. Bye. The end.